what we've seen happen this year has been, I think, a bit of a realignment in politics. You know, there's the last 24 months, if we look at what's been going on in the province, there have been people who have wanted to see us as a progressive conservative party do something differently. Um, and they've chosen sometimes to go to other political parties. Some have gone to the Alberta party, some went to, to Wild Rose. And what I've seen through the leadership campaign and even since October 1st is a lot of people now saying, I'm okay with this now. I'm going to keep watching. I want to see what the Progressive Conservative Party looks like. But the, what we did as a party this year is we rebalanced our roots. We rebalanced our values and we came back to a place where we are a Progressive Conservative Party that does what it's always done well, I believe, which is reflect the values of Albertans. Whether that means that everyone who chose to no longer be a member of the party chooses to come back to it, probably not likely. A lot of political parties in a province is a good thing. It's important for political dialogue and I think that for people that have those really passionate views and are very ideological about what they believe, that if they found a political home somewhere else, then that's entirely legitimate. You know, the, the, the tradition of a progressive conservative party in this province, and, and you all talk about it as journalists, and I think Albertans think about it, is that we are a big tent party. Um, we are a party that governs from a place that's very pragmatic. I think it does represent a lot of people from different parts of the province. I don't think it'll ever or ever should be a party that will try to represent absolutely everyone. And so there'll be some shifting back and forth. You know, there's people that are working right now in my office who in the past have been, have been members of both the Alberta Party and the Wild Rose. Um, and there'll be some shifting, but those parties aren't going to go away, and that's, that's not a bad thing. There are, there are people who think you're a lot <coughs> more conservative uh, at your core than you've shown so far, and that we might see that in the budget. I, I think that that's a fair point, and I wouldn't disagree with it. You know, I think that one of the things that happens when you get into public life like this is that people try to pigeonhole you, and they try to do it not only for political purposes, that's one of the reasons that they do it, but the other is because people want to be able to say, okay, now I can look at this person, this leader, and know exactly who they are and what they do in absolutely every circumstance. And I've never been like that as a person, and I'm not going to be that like that as a leader and as premier. Uh, part of it is the issues in Alberta are complicated issues, and the other thing is that I think I pretty much represent, I hope I do, and you know, it's continuing, continuing exercise, where Albertans are looking to go. Albertans are essentially fiscally conservative. They want a strong fiscal plan. They want to make sure that we're developing long-term policy, growing the economy, and we can do all of that.